Alrighty, so today I have a mascara review for you all, and I'm going to be reviewing the Maybelline Falsies. And I know you guys are probably like, wow, Rachel, you were the last one to jump on that bandwagon. You know, you're a few years late, and yeah, it's true. But it takes me months to go for, uh, through mascaras, and I finally got around to this one. So yeah, I don't have the packaging with me, which is actually kind of weird because usually I keep the packaging just in case I do a review, but I have it up on my phone. So yeah, they have five different like versions of the falsies, I think. Yeah, they have the, the falsies flared, and then they have the falsies black drama in waterproof and regular, and then the normal falsies in waterproof and regular. This is non-waterproof. Do not be thrown off by the blue writing and the blue little ring around the cap, because I have kind of done a double take and be like, wait, is it waterproof? But it's not. So, I have the information up on here, and you can find this at most drugstores, so it's a drugstore product, and yes, so it says, false lash glam instantly, patented spoon brush fans out lashes from corner to corner while our pro keratin formula instantly builds volume without clumping. Unique flexible wand helps to lift and separate lashes to provide the full look of 300% more visible fuller lashes no gaps from any angle. So I guess it's supposed to like fill in gaps. Um, contact lens, contact lens safe, washable, whatever. And then it says, for best results, hold brush with spoon side upwards against lashes and sweep from root to tip. Repeat until desired look is achieved. Do not let dry between coats. Remove easily with soap and water or expert or their makeup remover. Okay. So, that is basically the stuffs, and it, this is in blackest black, yeah, and they have it in three different shades, um, brownish black, blackest black, and very black, um, so yeah, it says it's going to be no clumping, very voluminous, it doesn't say anything about, um, length, which is interesting, so it's, you know, all supposed to be volume, supposed to look like false lashes, so, I will go ahead and tell you kind of about my lashes because mascara works on different lashes or different people in a different way. Um, so yes, I'm sure you guys have seen my lashes before, but I do have blonde hair, so my eyelashes for the most part are blonde. The very root is black, but my eyelashes look a lot shorter than they are because of the fact that they're blonde. So they are naturally curled. They're pretty long. I mean, I know you guys can't see, but they go up to about here, and they're pretty voluminous, so I don't really have a problem. Like, if my lashes were jet black, I don't think I would ever wear mascara, but they're not. They're blonde, so yes. Okay, so the whole entire thing about the wand. It is a curved wand. They call it the spoon wand, and I'm going to be completely honest. I hate this wand. Um, it is not a rubber bristled wand. It is one of the ones that is like, I don't, I don't even know how to describe it, but they're like individual little things, but it's not one of the hard plastic ones. And usually I hate these type of wands. The only exception is the Bad Gal Lash by Benefit because it's more of a spiral one. Those are fine, but this is more of a like individual little bristles, but they're not the rubber ones. And as you can see, the little curve right there. But the problem is, is that they say to use the curved side on your lashes, but do you see any bristles there? No, neither do I. They're almost invisible. And if you put it one side, I mean like spoon side that way, or curved side that way, it would do nothing for your lashes because there's no bristles there to separate or yeah, miss, make them separate. They would all clump together because there's no bristles there to even put product correctly on your lashes. So you're kind of forced to use the other side, which is the longer bristles. And another problem with this mascara is that since the bristles are like this and it's not a plastic bristled wand, um, if you like scrape it the wrong way, the bristles get all flattened out and it's nearly impossible to create a separate 
or separated voluminous look because they're all clumped together and it just gets messed up. Um, it's it collects so much product on the end. I mean, there's a ton, and there. I mean, on the wand itself, I see clumps. So, I mean, what does that really say about the mascara? Like, can you guys see that clump right there? I don't know if you would be able to, but look at that, right? Oh my God, where am I pointing? Right there. I mean, there's already a clump there, so obviously you have to take the time to wipe it off, and then by the time you do that, there's hardly any product left on the wand, and the bristles are all misshapen. They're not even going the right way, and some of the bristles are longer, and some of them are shorter. I mean, it's just, it's a complete train wreck. And the thing that sucks the most about this mascara is that the wand is really what makes or breaks a product. All the formulas, yeah, they may be a little bit more wet, they may be a little bit more dry, but it's all in the wand and how it is applied because that's what's actually putting the mascara on your lashes and that's going to be the deal breaker whether or not it's going to separate or if it's going to be completely clumpy. So they say that it is more for volume. Mm, I don't know. Um... So yeah, I'm going to go ahead and zoom in so I can show you guys how it applies to my lashes and then I will finish up my review. Okay, so I'm going to do one coat and I have my mirror here so I can see. And I do not use it with the um, curved side facing my lashes. I do it um, the longer side because, I mean, that's how your eye is shaped anyway. Like, I don't know why you do it the opposite. So yeah, I do it that way and... Yeah, and if you guys have watched any of my other mascara reviews, I have two up. I like to kind of twirl my mascara wand through my lashes because it adds a lot more volume. And this wand makes it a little bit impossible to do that. So you just have to go in there and really work on it. And then I pull the edges out. I do that with any mascara, but... I just pull it out to flare out my outer lashes more. Okay, so there's one coat, and I'm going to go ahead and do one more. And you really do have to work fast because, like it says, you shouldn't let it dry in between because it dries pretty quick, and if it dries, then you really won't be able to build up the volume anymore, so... Try to get the inner corner lashes as well. It's a little bit difficult with this wand. And then I'm going to use the rest on the bottom lashes. And that's what I use the spoon part for because it fits the lower lash line better. Or it fits the curve of my eye. Okay, so here's what two coats looked or looks like. So I did the lower lashes and the upper lashes. And one little problem that I have is that my eyes never look even. They look pretty decent today, but one is almost always more clumped than the other. So we'll give you a really close up look. Okay, so most of you are probably like, um, your lashes look 100 times better than mine do, or they look pretty good, what are you complaining about? But the thing is, is that I have gotten this effect from a mascara, or a better effect from a mascara, and have only had to use half the time. So, they are completely wrong in saying that it does not clump, because... It is um, quite the challenge to separate the lashes, especially with that wand. Um, it's not clump free at all, so you really have to take the time to declump your lashes and it takes a while, but then you have to move fast to get another layer to build it up enough because one layer does not cut it. It does not cut it at all. It does, it really doesn't do much for my lashes at all. It's more, um, length than crazy volume I would say but even even the volume isn't that impressive I really don't see that much of an improvement from any other mascara that I used it doesn't seem to um it doesn't really look like it lengthened my lashes at all that's kind of like the length that my not my natural lashes are um and it does not look like falsies at all N nothing whatsoever I mean there's really nothing special about it and, um, yeah, I mean, for wear and how black it is, I mean, it's extremely black. 
and it does last all day. I've had no problems with it smudging or flaking or anything like that. Um, the formula, I didn't really say, is a little bit more on the wet side, and I usually like kind of mascaras that are in between. Um, if it is a rubber wand, though, I think that more wet formulas work better. I don't, I don't really know. I mean, if you're really looking for volume, I would just say stick with CoverGirl's Lash Blast. It works amazingly. It has the rubber wand that I love, and it gives you volume and definitely more separation than this. I mean, yeah, it's okay, but I was expecting a lot more considering the hype that this product got. Now, I also have seen a few reviews or people mention the fact that it was a disaster. I know Amarique said that. And then Emily Noel 83 I just watched her review and she was like, eh, didn't really do that much. Definitely doesn't look like false lashes. So, I'm no, I know I'm not alone in this, so tell me your thoughts and opinion on this mascara. If it worked for you, if it didn't. And make sure to tell me what your lash type is. That sounds so bizarre, but... Tell me if your lashes are shorter and if this worked on you because, I mean, I already have pretty long and thick lashes and it didn't do really anything incredible and it didn't really do what it claimed to do, which was add a ton of volume and make your lashes look like falsies and no clumps and it is not clump free. It doesn't really make my lashes look like falsies. Um, Length is okay, volume is eh, mediocre, and it takes a little bit of work to put on. So overall, I would give this mascara thumbs to the side. It's, I wouldn't say it's horrible, but I would not repurchase it. I hope you guys enjoyed this review, although it was kind of negative, but I think it is good to hear differing opinions from what all the hype is and I know this is so late but I hope you guys still enjoyed this video and got something out of it and more more mascara reviews in the future because I don't know how much longer I'm going to be able to use that one because I don't really love it. But yeah, hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please make sure to subscribe if you would like to see other reviews and tell me down below what other types of reviews you would like to see. Um, if there are kind of drugstore products you would like me to try out then I'll definitely try to do those or just products in general. If you would like me to review blushes or different eyeshadows that I have, then also tell me down below. So yeah, I will see you guys in my next video. Bye everyone.